If elected, where do you stand on coal-fired electricity in our province? Would you reverse the direction we're currently on and end the carbon tax burden or slow the coal phase out to more of a 2040 timeline? Thanks from a coal miner. Uh, yes, Richard, the answer is yes, I would do everything I can to stop the NDP's um, reckless rush to shut down a vital Alberta industry. Uh, Coal-fired electricity plants are the backbone of Alberta's electricity generation and therefore help our whole economy to move. Producing power at uh, less than four cents a kilowatt hour uh, and with a shrinking environmental footprint. Because as you know, Richard, uh, the clean coal technology means that um, there are fewer and fewer uh, environmental um, uh, uh, pollutants released into the atmosphere as a result of coal fire. Uh, and uh, the reality is that uh, these are the, the NDP is rushing to shut down prematurely the most modern plants that are the cleanest, which makes no sense. I think it would make a lot more sense for us to continue investing in clean coal technology, which we can then export to the uh, developing world uh, so that they can reduce the carbon output uh, coming from their uh, expanding coal-fired plants. I mean, the rest of the world is planning on building some 2,000 plants. Even Germany, which supposedly prides itself on being a green economy, is, is building more coal-fired electricity plants, believe it or not. So um, I'm totally with you. And by the way, uh, there's a left-wing magazine out there called Alberta Views that has put me on their front cover as the biggest defender of the coal industry in Alberta. And um, I, I'm, not, I'm not the least bit ashamed uh, with the accusation that they make. All right. Uh, but now, I guess there's one other point, Richard, which is this. Um, you know, whether or not we can ex extend, reverse the NDP policy direction will be dependent on what the companies decide to do themselves. We cannot compel the uh, power companies in Alberta to rip up whatever contracts they've signed with the government of Alberta. We cannot compel them um, if, they're, if they've decided to convert some of these plants from coal fire to natural gas cogeneration, uh, if they make major capital investments, I doubt they will be willing to, to, to revert back to coal production. So, uh, Richard, it's a little difficult for me to predict exactly how that will unfold after we come to office. We'll have to take a very close look at the contracts that the power companies sign with the government. Uh, and But I, I will tell you this, I will encourage those companies to continue with the inexpensive and reliable production of electricity through the modern uh, clean coal plants.